Namaste everyone. Our topic for today is uh, a topic which many people have asked from me since last few years. It is related to the LGBTQ community. So I will divide it into three categories. Straight people, male-female relationship, bisexual experiencing sexual relationships with both male and female and gay and lesbian male to male relationship female to female relationship astrologically how to see these relationships in the horoscope is what i am talking in this video i am talking about in this video Though I have many charts based on which I have made these conclusions, but for the sake of privacy, I will not be using uh, those horoscopes or showing it to you. Primarily, going by the classics of Vedic astrology, a relationship between Venus and Saturn is told to be a combination which indicates artificial uses of which indicates uses of artificial sexual organs for the satisfaction of these desires this can go for same gender relationships this is not a normal connection between venus and saturn it is a two way connection rather so Venus in the Rashi of Saturn, Saturn in the Rashi of Venus, a complete exchange will trigger this combination. Or Venus in the Rashi of Saturn, expected by Saturn, will also trigger this combination. Now this exchange of Saturn and Venus is told to be seen in Navamsha chart. Right, So, Venus in the Rashi of Saturn, Saturn in the Rashi of Venus in the Navamsha chart or Sat Venus in the Rashi of Saturn expected by Saturn either in Navamsha or in the Rashi chart generally leads to same gender relationship. What I have seen is that this connection only happening in Navamsha chart is not enough. You should also check Dwadashamsha D12 and Trimshamsha D30 for this. So a strong connection between Venus and Saturn happening in Navamsha, Dwadashamsha or Trimshamsha, D9, D12 or D30. Whereas Venus being in the Rashi of Saturn expected by Saturn. Or Venus in the Rashi of Saturn, Saturn in the Rashi of Venus, a complete exchange. In two out of these three charts will indicate a same gender relationship. There is another point into it. This is a connection with Mars. In the same combination, replace Saturn by Mars. So Venus in the Rashi of Mars, Mars in the Rashi of Venus. Or Venus in the Rashi of Mars, influenced by Mars, expected conjoined both. In the case of Saturn also, conjunction should also be taken into consideration. Same like the Saturn combination, the this combination of Venus and Mars should happen in D9, D12, D30. Any two of them, you can include D1 into it to make four horoscopes and combination happening in two or more than two of these horoscopes. What does Venus and Mars connection do? It gives, it gives the native a great desire for carnal pleasures. Which generally, this is generally a combination for being oversexed, masturbation, etc. In those cases where it is afflicted, say Venus in the Rashi of Mars, Mars in the Rashi of Venus, and they being afflicted by malefics such as Rahu, Sun, etc. Or Venus in the Rashi of Mars, expected or conjoined by Mars, and other malefic Rahu, etc. comes into the combination. In this particular scenario, person can be in same gender relationship for the sake of experimentation. Person can be in same gender relationship because he is not getting a normal relationship, going into a normal relationship. 
this generally happens and in such cases after marriage to a competent partner with a proper matchmaking where all the needs of carnal desires are being met people turn out to be straight so this i will put into bisexual category right now in the same lines there is a stuff of you know like what for male same gender relationship gay relationship a combination between mars and mercury is seen very prominently these four divisional charts are the basic linchpin d1 d9 d12 d13 so in three of these divisional charts mars and mercury making a strong connection mars in the sign of mercury mercury in the sign of mars exchange mars in the sign of mercury aspected or conjoined by mercury or mercury in the sign of mars aspected or conjoined by mars happening in three or all four of these horoscopes generally indicate same gender relationship between males gay relationship what it strongly indicates so these are the basics of it what i have seen working in horoscopes now let's talk of a little bit more in this topic more researches of what i have seen so basically the concept is you know sigmund freud if i am not wrong talks of oedipus complex it starts there from i am not going into it right the point is simple to identify it i have taught it in parashar sutras course i think around june july in 2022 i have covered this in a in a two hour long class in depth in the course by the way ninth house is the house of father fourth house is the house of mother so basically the house of father because father is male should have influence of male planets male planets are jupiter sun mars rahu female planets are venus moon ketu mercury saturn i also take as male planet so ninth house which is the house of father father that is a male entity should have connection with a male planet and fourth house which is the house of mother should have connection with female planets if there is no planet in the house then you have to take the lord of the house and should see the planets that the lord is having a connection with gender of the planet will remain the same so either ninth house should have influence of male planets or ninth lord wherever it is situated in should have connection with male planets either by conjunction or aspect when this happens this should normally happen in a horoscope in this particular scenario the learnings from father the teachings from father etc will come and when this is not happening generally you will see if the ninth house in a male in a horoscope is not having influence of any male planet direct influence of any male planet then generally the father is absent the fourth house of mother not having a connection of female planet generally you will see mother is absent either died early or working not able to give time to the native whatever so you see ninth house having connection with male planets fourth house having connection with female planets at least one so there can be two planets connecting the connecting to the ninth house one situated one aspecting both aspecting both situated whatever one of them being a male fulfills the condition so fourth house connected with female planets ninth house connected with male planets makes a person completely straight male in relationship interested in female female interested in male a pure complete relationships 
alternatively because it is such a sensitive topic you have to judge it very carefully generally in those cases when the fourth house is only having male influence not having female influence as such but it does not fall into this criteria of lgbtq then generally in such scenarios people have working mother mother who take responsibilities of father because of any reason father being absent being careless etc anything as such for this setup ninth house having no connection of male planet fourth house having no connection of female planet for this setup to convert into a lgbtq combination the first three combinations saturn venus mars venus mars mercury that i have talked about should be present in two or more than two of these four horoscopes that include d1 d9 d12 and d13 that should be present there so this is basically a i was saying the fourth house and the ninth house stuff this basically indicates a straight person in those horoscopes where the fourth house where the fourth house is only having connection with male planets and ninth house only having connection with female planets in that particular scenario what happens fourth house only having connection with female planets no male influence ninth house only having connection sorry fourth house only having connection with male planets no female influence Ninth house only having connection of female planets, no male influence. This is generally a scenario which makes the person be interested in same gender relationship, right? In a female horoscope, it is to be very necessarily seen. In a female horoscope, ninth house having no male influence, only female influence. added to these three combinations that i have talked about earlier indicate absence of liking towards male because the male principle is not properly developed in their heart and mind thus indicating a same gender lesbian relationship what you will call female horoscope in male horoscope fourth house having no connection of female planets whatsoever only connection of male planets additionally one of these three combinations that i have talked in the starting indicates no development or under development of female principles in the heart and mind which forces the person to go into same gender male to male relationship what you what i will call here gay relationship this is primarily what i have seen working based on my research how i have came to this research and other aspects of this research as i have told you i have talked in a class of my parasar sutra course which is a very extensive course dealing with more than 60 65 hour long course dealing with the aspect of traditional astrology in depth okay let's come back to that now added to this particular stuff venus see there are few planets which are not used in astrology gulik mandi dhum vitipat upaketu parivesh etc 98% of the astrologers are not aware of them i have made an old video on gulik mandi i have been using them extensively in my practice i have done a course previously on them as well and there is a course that i am going to do from 19th of december monday for the next 3 days as well so this gulik or mandi whatever you say is it is the same planet parivesh and dhuma these are very terrible very deadly very mischievous planets the biggest malefics even bigger malefic than mars saturn rahu conjoint so if this gulik mandi dhum or parivesh is having a connection with venus afflicting venus other than that there is no support of any other good planet to venus in this particular scenario also sexual abnormality is seen 
Now, why I am using this word sexual abnormality? LGBTQ, I don't take into abnormality condition. But sometimes what happens, there are mischievous people who are not actually interested in same gender relationship, etc. But they are only doing it for the sake of experimentation because they are not having a proper relationship because they are timid and multiple reasons are there. Right? Those who are suffering from this know in their heart, I don't you know, like want to explain it. So generally when Venus is afflicted by these planets and Venus gets no support from any friendly planet or benefic planet, not benefic planet, friendly planet. So Venus getting afflicted by Gulik Mandi Dhuma Parivesh and not influenced by Saturn or Mercury. This generally indicates that person when his sexuality carnal desires are at the top position was not able to be into a proper normal relationship. Was also not able to keep patience use discrimination and went into the same gender relationship stuff. Such people generally fake their likes, dislikes, natural urges, natural urge and go into such relationships where they are only cheating their partners who can actually be actually having such an orientation. This, you know, generally happens and these people, when they contact me, they are generally worried about the same thing. A person is really a gay, really into same gender relationship, but they have got a partner who is just time passing with them or, you know, just ditching them, telling them stories and things like that. So to identify a bad partner, this principle should be used. Okay. Now there is... No, one more aspect of it. Seventh house. As I think all of us are very well aware about that, Saturn and Mercury are unit planets. Hemophrodite planet, whatever you say. So, Seventh house, what does seventh house indicate? Seventh house indicates the wife. Seventh house also indicates her sexuality. Now, in this case, also understand Mercury is a female unit, Saturn is a male unit. So, in a male horoscope, Saturn connected to the seventh house, and here I am talking of only Saturn. This you should understand. Other planets coming into this combination will disrupt the combination. Okay. In a male horoscope, only Saturn connected to the seventh house. In female horoscope, only Mercury connected to the seventh house. Or there can be other planets connected with seventh house also. But there is one condition where planets are very weak. They cannot produce result. When two planets go in a planetary war, when one planet is deeply combust, or when a planet is having less than 100% point in Shedbal, say less than 60 rupees. In Shedbal, such planets are very weak, they cannot produce result. So in those cases where you see seventh house is having an influence of Saturn in a male horoscope, and also influence of other planets, check if those planets are effective or they are becoming ineffective by being very weak. If they are ineffective by being very weak and Saturn is the only effective planet, then the result of Saturn is to be taken. And in those horoscope where only Saturn is having influence over the seventh house before declaring the result that I am going to say, also check that Saturn is not being ineffective by these conditions being in a planetary war, deeply combust or having less than 100% strength or less than 60 rupees in Shadabal. So in male horoscope, only Saturn connected to the 7th house or in female horoscope, only Mercury connected to the 7th house generally makes an unit combination. 
Now in this eunuch combination, what I have seen that generally after marriage, people realize that they are not interested in a conventional relationship, conventional relationship they don't like. And it is the same gender relationship that they are more interested in. So this also becomes a reason for worry. People from orthodox society, orthodox backgrounds generally do not realize this or those who feel ashamed about accepting who they are, they don't realize it, but somehow feel incompletion inside themselves. So this is to be very carefully judged. This combination is a double-edged sword also. So in this particular scenario, you should also check your seventh lord. Okay. If this combination happens in reverse, male horoscope only having Mercury connected to the seventh house, no other planet or other planets being ineffective. Female horoscope only having Saturn connected with the seventh house, other planets are not connected or other planets becoming ineffective generally indicates a spouse who is not interested in sexual affairs or a spouse which is into same gender relationship. Hence, you land into a problem. Right? So these are few aspects of this topic that I wanted to discuss. Though there is much more to discuss, there are many more finer nuances that can be discussed here. There are many parts which can be explored as I have done deep research on this topic. But because it is a public video, I am leaving this topic here. Because it is a sensitive topic, I think that while applying these principles, you people will show intelligence, discrimination, and if you don't know how to apply astrological principles or if you are incompetent in reading a horoscope, then while applying the principles, make sure to have a company and guidance of a competent person. These principles I have found working in dozens of cases that I have seen also predicted without people telling me that they are into these type of relationships, etc. Right? The only thing that is needed is either competently applying it or applying it under the guidance of competent person. Thank you for watching this video.